well. This is the first Trans-Arabian event for classic cars. In fact, I think it's the first Trans-Arabian motoring event. I mean, going from Jordan through Saudi Arabia, uh, Oman, UAE, uh, has never been done before. And uh, we've been talking to the various dignitaries in the various countries, and we are so welcome. And it's such a breath of fresh air, rather than what we typically get in the Western world, which is, oh, you know, go away with your old cars. I think classic cars as such give you an emotion that modern cars cannot give you. It's, it's the, the history, it's the, the smell. That's my life, my whole passion, you know, having old race cars, driving in Goodwood and you name it. And on the other side we drive these kind of rallies like Beijing Paris and all that stuff. Going across the, the desert is just something that we're really, really looking forward to. We, we had the Sahara Challenge which was a little bit of a warm up for us. And going into Saudi, you know, we're just so excited, some big distances to, to do there. The Middle East, it is uh, exciting, it's new, it is... Uh... Good food! <laughs> yeah. Some countries I've been fortunate enough to have travelled in, I've worked in, for a lot of people, they won't have had that opportunity. If you talk about Saudi, for example, you know, that's a country none of us would ever get an opportunity to drive through, and uh, here we are. We have done so much in our life, but we have never been in this area. We have never been in Jordan, never across Saudi Arabia, never in Oman. Okay, Emirates, everyone knows, but that's really fascinating. Beautiful, beautiful countries. Coming on to uh, an event like this, you know, gives us a challenge, it gives us a test, you know, not only can we drive it, can we, you know, can we do the distance, but, you know, can we fix it? Because, you know, inevitably, things will go not quite the, quite the way that we had planned. The opportunity for us to drive our own cars through a country like Saudi and into the Emirates and down to Oman is just an amazing opportunity. So we wanted to do a bit of a father-son adventure. Uh, across the Middle East, as I live in Dubai for the past five years, and we saw it as a good opportunity to do a little uh, joint event together. First thing is getting it to the finish line in Dubai. That's challenge number one. Keeping the car in one piece, that's going to be the other challenge. So it's one of Euro Era's uh, latest uh, project with ProDrive, specifically designed for these uh, car rallies. Uh, actually, it has completely been rebuilt, as I understand it, with a view of long, long distance rallying in uh, difficult conditions. Getting ready now to start. 9.25 departure towards Petra. And uh, I think we're going to have a a wonderful experience here. I'm happy to be here. Very anxious to see the countries. So it's, uh, it's going to be amazing, I think. Spirits are high. This is what it's about. It's an adventure. It's a challenge. It's lots of fun, great people, scenery, backdrop. I mean, it's actually a piece of heaven, I think. We're looking forward to seeing the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. And obviously, it'll be fun crossing over the border into Saudi, being one of the first you know, major motor racing events rally-wise to, uh, to go into the kingdom. It's been lovely so far. We've come off that main road and now once we start climbing into the hills, the twisty bits, it's beautiful. It was great so far, I mean, didn't get lost, so got here, so that's the main thing. First stage done, now the first regularity, and we'll see how that goes. But so far, so good.
where the Nabanians lived. It was one of the top trading places between lots of countries. And why it was successful was because it was surrounded by rocks, nobody could ever attack them. So this is called Little Petra. Yeah. The beautiful Petra where you see on, on most of the programmes and films is over here between this valley. collected the water from the mountains and if you go to Petra there's gullies all the way down the mountain pass. So the Romans came here and this is the site for the Roman road. The fan came undone, the blade has cracked the radiator, so we're not in a great shape, um, but um, it ain't over till it's all over. Amazing uh, roads and uh, places, uh, so with the times and the regularity almost good, so patient, enjoy the view and friends. Let's be honest. It was a wonderful day. I've seen wonderful things that I've never seen before and I've traveled the world, I can tell you now. Lovely roads, lovely scenery, lovely people. Um, and then we had to follow in convoy behind police escorts. And then they let us go, just like that, without any further notice. So, that was a special day. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge, um, but we were here, we're on the Dead Sea uh, Resort at the moment. Uh, car's about to ready to start in about half an hour. Uh, quite a relaxed day today, just one regularity and a couple of visits to some great uh, historical sites. So hopefully the crews will enjoy that um, before we get into day three, which is obviously going to be the challenging day and uh, the day that will sort the competition out. We've even been for a bob in the Dead Sea. The radiator fan weighs as much as a small family sedan, coughed its lunch and shed a wing. The, the boys did a brilliant job. They turned up with some car filler, two-pack car filler which they bogged into the radiator, that sealed it up, it's looking good now, and, but we're still lacking the essential cooling that this used to provide. So we're gonna take a slightly different route today. We're gonna go to a scrapyard. This is an air cooler, and this was what they used in America before air conditioning in cars. You pour water in here, as you drive along, the faster you go, this revolves and pushes cool air into the car. We are one family and I bring my daughter and my son with me already to train for picking to Paris and the other guys are one of my best friends so for sure we join it together. it a lot. The landscape is wonderful. The people are exceptionally friendly. Wave it off, driving through school classes of children that go to have lunch. It was fabulous. Everyone cheers us up. So it's really, it's really great to be here. The uh, rally here in Jordan is much more European like an Acropolis rally. But then tomorrow we head south and get 
more and more towards the desert and we actually start going off road tomorrow. Probably the biggest challenge is the heat because um, however much you anticipate heat, actually living with it and driving cars for long distances in it, uh, particularly open cars, it's the humans that will fail before the cars, I think. The carburetors that were fitted back in England by Mario, they didn't really run well. So we're changing uh, the jets, but we're just too fat. Not the two of us, but the, the, the gasoline that flows is too fat. So on altitude, we stutter. Jordanian Royal Automobile Club, whose president is the brother of uh, King Abdullah, His Royal Highness Faisal Al Hussein, and the museum is really a journey of all the cars that have been uh, in Jordan. There are some very beautiful cars and motorcycles in exhibition here, so it's very interesting. Even with the complete difference of, of language and, and, and language barriers, there's a common language of engineering which they understood very, very well. So privileged today to be uh, with all uh, and sharing this uh, motoring uh, historical moment. Desert. We have been driving this rough uh, section, very rocky at the beginning, but it was really fun. As my husband enjoyed it, as he loved this this kind of driving and this 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 challenge. He really loved it. It was really fun, fun. So we are here in uh, Wadi Rum in Jordania and this is a beautiful camp with lovely people. We had great food yesterday, um, one or two beers and it's going great. We had a nice evening, a Bedouin evening with the music, with, we, we enjoyed the evening also. The cars is maybe 40-50% uh, of, of the adventure. The other 50-60% is the people. And I think what this organization does perfectly is gather beautiful cars, passionate people and really adventurers. And we can all bond together on that. 
My car drinks less than you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful alternator that we found in a scrapyard in Amman. We were able to find three of those. We have used one. The second one broke. And now this one is the, the last spare. And we put it in the car. And hopefully we will not need another alternator. I'm looking forward to a very comfortable day because it's border crossing. It's always the waiting and the looking around and then the expectations of the next country. It won't change the scenery, but it will change the people, we think, which will also be nice. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find it all vanity. But those who dream by day are dangerous men, for they may act their dreams to make it possible. Those are the words of T.A. Lawrence when he was here at Wadi Rum. So we are following in his footsteps on the way today to Saudi Arabia. We're waiting at main time control here. First car off is the American La France at 12.01 and then they'll all be going off with a slightly longer interval today to try and allow for the fact that we don't want 45 cars all arriving at the border at the same time because that will only create a queue. Spectacular the scenery of Wadi Rum, home of Luke Skywalker and many a Star Wars film. Enjoy the day. A bit of challenges at customs, but uh, at least we made it now to Saudi Arabia. We're still waiting for some new jets for the carburetors, and I don't know exactly when we're going to get them, but hopefully they're arriving soon so we can make some adjustments and lean the engine out. The Mustang is going like a rocket, you know, and uh, we just get stuck once in the sand, but for the rest of it, it was perfect. The car did not miss a bit, everything is great. Well, the, uh, the front vent, which is uh, our aircon system, wasn't opening correctly, so I've got a piece of tree from over there and wedged it in there so we can keep nice and cool in this 40 degrees. It's quite challenging, you know, the roads are, the roads are very rocky. And for us, you know, with you know, probably the slowest car on the rally, you know, a 1958 Mercedes-Benz with about uh, 80 horsepower, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but, uh, but you know, we're having a good time. Well, regularities in the desert were not easy, especially as the car is a bit uh, lower than some of the other competitors. But so far, a lot of good fun. Driving classic cars is a challenge. They're, they're, they're characterful, um, they're not perfect, um, they're fully involving, they're enjoyable. I'm here for both competition and adventure because I think the combination of two is just the best you can have. Mushroom country, mushroom country. But it's uh, it's nice. It's very nice. It's beautiful, beautiful scenery. I've never seen this before.
We're in Alu, we're in a beautiful location. Fantastic people, sceneries have been great, weather great, nothing to complain about. And so far the car is also doing well. We're uh, using a mixture of the tulip notes and then the GPS when we get into the desert as a backup. So, uh, so far so good. I think I achieved a first yesterday, 76 kilometers with no tulip notes other than one which said the road condition improves. And that wasn't true, other than that it was easy. You go over these speed bumps, the car jumps and the axle, which is a floating axle, kind of moves. So you end up having a, a chain that is working too hard and the other one is just too slack. So just adjusting that. The engine wasn't uh, running smoothly, so but uh, the mechanics here are fantastic. I think the guys like the cars and I love traveling. So it's the best of both worlds. You meet a lot of lovely people with the same level of interest. So that, that's good for a social point of view and going through a very unique landscape in a in a fantastic car. Welcome. We're bringing the Badawi Trail to Hegra village and these amazing Nabatian tombs. Behind me, you see the rocks coming together like the sick in Petra. It's not as long as in Petra, but behind that there is a very nice seating area and they got the water welled out of the ground and then stored in citterns underneath. So they had a very ingenious system. It's just stunning. Unbelievable what mankind could do at the time. It's really stunning. I'm, I'm totally overwhelmed, I have to say. In fact, it has a very, very good acoustic. If you would yell in it, uh, or even raise your voice, it's immediately multiplied. Getting ready to head into the Saudi desert. Many people have not explored, few people have. Um, it's going to be a great experience. Um, looking forward to it. And I think it's what most of us are probably here for, is to see this uh, unusual place in the world. I think we're expecting a long day. It's over, over 500 k's to, uh, to run. And a lot of that's going to be uh, on some pretty rough uh, desert tracks, I think. This is the third puncture that we've had in two days and it's tiring, it's frustrating, it's a long day. We have to soldier on. Uh, there's no cutting corners, there's no easing off of the pain. And uh, let's see who wins. We bowed out of one of the stages this morning because we knew the sand was going to be very deep and the car just doesn't have enough ground clearance. So, But otherwise pretty well, we're, we're sitting in a reasonable position given that we're, we uh, didn't really bring the right car. It's a lot of fun and it's a fabulous place to be. We did 60k today off the main road and it started off very gravelly and very rough and then it went onto sand and you had to really push through. So my stopwatch keeps turning itself off if we go flying over a bump or something. So life has been a bit trickier today. I couldn't shift gear. We had to adjust the clutch. I hope it works. So, uh, otherwise we'll have to change the clutch tonight. We have a spare one, of course. Poor old Emily in the desert yesterday. We hit uh, a bump and she got airborne and came down on her elbow and dislocated it. And she hasn't been very well. So I think she's probably retiring. So, um, yeah, going solo now. I told Philip in 100 meters you just keep right and he saw a little hole in the beak and he just jumped in and I said what are you doing and then as soon as he went the wrong way he wanted to go in back gear and then he planted himself right in that little ditch so yeah we're stuck I'm okay yeah 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 it's just yeah we're losing on this regularity <laughs> We love 
love discovering uh, Saudi Arabia. We love, love the roads. I mean, the special stage are great. I mean, difficult, but great. And we're having a lot of fun. The heat today was just unbelievable. I mean, it was like having a blow dryer in your face all day, and you couldn't really shield yourself from absolutely everything. I think I drank five liters of water. I really recommend people to come and visit Saudi Arabia because it's uh, just a really cool place. It's uh, being quite tough to achieve the, the times we need to, to get, and uh, I think it's practice. Uh, we are not used to that, but uh, Jose is making uh, great work, so we are happy. I'm captaining the Saudi team that is participating with this uh, uh, Bedouin trail and I have my colleagues here, uh, seven cars, and uh, hopefully uh, next time we'll be uh, running the whole uh, circuit from uh, flag to flag. It's been rough and hot, but beautiful kind of landscape, harsh. We've enjoyed it. We've had some good days and bad days. Our last regularity, we were spot on, and then 30 camels decided to cross our path, and it was kaput. So that's what you get in Saudi Arabia. Camels on the road, not kangaroos. John called me some months ago and said the Badawi was coming through Saudi. So we thought, well, look, if you're coming through Saudi, you've got to come to the heart of motorsport in Saudi. And so essentially, that's where we are today. We're the Jeddah Corniche Circuit. And it's been our privilege to welcome all the, uh, the participants in the Badawi Trail uh, to the track and give them a chance to have a run around. We're at the Formula One circuit, which is super exciting, it's like historic for me because I'm a big fan of the sport. So yeah, I actually couldn't be happier. I mean, it's really, um, well, I, I think it's going to be one of the best days of my life. We're going to do our obligatory lap of the circuit, not quite at the pace of Hamilton, but we'll try. good. It was lovely to get around it and just to go and see where the big boys are playing. So yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. My navigator lost it a couple of times. That uh, didn't help us on the regularities. But we are still first in class and eight overall. So um, I can't complain. I wish I did better, but um, this is it for now. The rally has got a 500 kilometer plus route today that will take us up to the mountain city of Taif, which is known as the unofficial capital of Saudi Arabia in the summer when the king moves up there for the cooler air. Team La France are going to make a shorter route up to Taif if we can get there 12.30, 1 o'clock, little sandwich and then we'll start work and that could see us in good shape for the long days that come ahead as we head across the Arabian Peninsula to the UAE, Amman and Jibar. Today was about climbing mountains up to I think 2,400 metres, going down mountains, climbing them back up and down and back up and along the crests and it was just beautiful. We passed old ancient cities made of stone. There were a few cars which struggled with the heat and um, had to stop and recover but the MGA did famously well, no problems at all and we're here.
Uh, so far very good actually, it has been very well designed and built by ProDrive. Torque of this car is fantastic and then it's a rear wheel drive car and in the sand you have to go fast. Teeth off the gears, broken teeth in the gearbox. Come back tomorrow. A lot of uh, challenging curves, but it was great fun. This is all going great, and we're enjoying it. Today we have a very exciting, very long trip of very straight roads going to Riyadh. This is a nice people, the landscape, it's amazing. You know, we have uh, visiting an inactive volcano, uh, which is really worthwhile seeing because the scenery around it is just magic and it's a tribute to all the nice places we have been visiting uh, for the last uh, now almost 10 days. Saudi Arabia is actually quite impressive, very beautiful. I'd love to see a little bit more about Saudi, but, um, but I think tomorrow we're doing the crossing and going to Emirates, so that'll be another thing to look, look forward to. Yeah. He says, I can do it without the funnel. Look at this. <laughs> look at it. Now my wife joined me and now we, we do it together, which is much more fun. I enjoy it and share, it some, share those events with my wife is, is uh, fabulous. As long as the car goes and we don't uh, struggle on, on directions or whatever, things are going okay. Okay, so um, we've had a fantastic time traveling through Saudi Arabia. The scenery has been amazing. Well, yesterday when we started one of the regularities on the hill climb, and I heard a rough noise from the gearbox. Made it back to the hotel and stripped it out, took off the top off the gearbox and we discovered a broken tooth had come off and smashed another couple of gears as well in the planetary gearbox. So I've just cleaned it out, took out the bits, put the oil back into it and decided to keep going. So we've made it here, a thousand mile or almost a thousand. <laughs> Mike, as you know, is making his way here. It's very unfortunate what's happened. It's a real shame. Uh, you know, Mike being a perfectionist, uh, he had everything right in the car, and it's just one of those unfortunate things. So we really hope that he can make it to the end. As soon as we crossed to AU, the policeman noticed that we have a, a Dixie horn. So he's, can you please hit, hit play? So we hit, uh, hit the horn and, uh, and the sound came out. It's not working that well, but it's funny, it's a funny story. Yeah. <laughs> We've had the most magnificent week in Saudi Arabia. I must say I'm amazed about it and it's really a privilege to, to be there and to see what we have seen. And uh, we've decided that we're going to come back and bring our uh, daughter and grandchildren. But it's been a really, really long day. Grateful to be here, but phew. Goodness, it's uh, relentless this time around. Um, yeah. But what do you do? Uh, I have to be patient, I have to be strong, so uh, we'll figure out. We're just gonna get a quick back to eat, uh, a real beer, and uh, we're gonna start spannering again. Woohoo! <laughs> So 
So we've been watching cars getting stuck a little bit because this section of the time control is actually quite heavy because uh, the sand is very thin and it's very deep so a lot of cars get stuck. I did get stuck, however my dad didn't get stuck so I guess I have still have to learn some things. <laughs> done our first sporting section, a short, sharp awake in the morning, which is what we all needed after uh, two days of transit across Saudi Arabia uh, and into the United Arab Emirates. We really enjoyed the drive through the dunes. The roads are fantastic and um, no trouble with the car. So, beautiful. So everyone's had their Arabic coffee and our lunch stop and we're off into the desert for our our afternoon with a luxury resort at the end, which we're all very much looking forward to. first place and we did very well today so we didn't get stuck in the loose sand because so other participants got stuck but luckily we not and then on the regularities we did quite well as well so today was a very good day I'm happy it has been a very very beautiful rally so far we misplaced it and we keep telling one another you lost it no I lost it I didn't lose it you put it somewhere Mario is perfect and doesn't make any mistakes whatsoever. Yeah, I found it. Our rally is going every day better and better and we're enjoying the scenery, we're enjoying the people, it's just fantastic. Saudi Arabia was really a big surprise, uh, how kind they are, the infrastructure was good, I mean here it's even better. What we have seen is really a dream, the desert, the roads, people, fantastic. It's new territory for us to do this, means that we are the adventurous kind and uh, and it, and it is an adventure. It's really a great, great pleasure and I'm very lucky to share it with my wife, which is always my best co-driver, so great fun. I think navigators are overrated. <laughs> Did I hear correctly? Excuse me? wonderful uh, museum, the Sheikh, uh, uh, who I've already met actually in Rabat during the uh, Sahara Challenge last year, told me about the La France, so uh, I've come here to say hello to uh, a fellow La France friend. We're getting on pretty well with the competition, but we have some problems with the car now, with uh, our shock absorbers, which makes it really tricky when we go off-road. I'm quite tense today about how we're going to get through this. We've got about a three-minute gap between us and the third car in our category, probably the answer is we least need to finish this rally. And if we finish this rally, that will be a hell of, a, hell of achievement. Today, the desert was super nice. Heavy, I have to say, sometimes we uh, felt like we were lost but it was, uh, in the end, really brilliant. The Rolls is going very well. It did not get stuck in the sand, and many, many other vehicles did. Nigel, who's never driven in sand before, ever, 
uh, has been fantastic. We uh, managed to get up to a good old speed in the sand. It was just drifting nicely. It was just like playing in a snow track. Best time I've ever had. Today was the best day uh, we've had on the rally so far. We were able to take that distributor from one of the minis of Sheikh Bin Ahmed's 1972 Mini Cooper S. So where the shops were unable to find, a museum was able to find it. So now we're going to open it up, uh, change the spindle, uh, change the bushing inside, and tomorrow we'll have coil and magneto. So really happy days. Magnificent journey is slowly coming to an end. We are approaching Dubai in a couple of days, uh, but we have had an epic tour. We've been driving in the desert. We've seen things which you normally wouldn't see, but I'm happy that we are gaining on the Bentley, and that is very important for us because there is an internal competition, and every day we eat a couple of seconds. I look forward to some great competition and look at the sceneries here. Oman is an extremely beautiful country. I've been here a few times and it's just amazing. It's getting squeaky. There's lots of people getting very competitive. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to climb back up into the top of it. But as the rally slowly draws to a close, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's getting very focused. a really good day actually the roads are really clear there's not much traffic it's a nice drive with lovely scenery we've seen incredible scenery we've done nice hotels it's been well organized we're nearly there two and a half days to drive and um, I'm so happy I'm here we're not as high on the competition chart as we'd like to be but <laughs> never mind guests of the uh, Oman uh, Motorsport Association uh, with a number of uh, government ministers who are welcoming the most international group of classic car enthusiasts I think they've ever seen. Uh, the friendship here has obviously been uh, forged uh, and we will be coming again uh, with great stories from uh, local motor clubs and all of the activities that they do. They are so happy to have us, it's really quite breathtaking and almost emotional. <laughs> I think it's been a great adventure. We've had challenges, we've overcome them. We're now into Dubai, so we are now into the last Emirate. We've just finished the last border crossing, so that's gone relatively smoothly. We really have enjoyed the whole journey, and, and, it, and it, you get used to being on the road as well. 
So uh, I think we're actually going to miss that, actually sort of being on the road and, and great company. Everyone has been absolutely amazing the whole time. So all in all, we've had an amazing adventure and it's been fantastic. Overall, it's been a very impressive journey uh, in a region that I have not known at all before. I'm from Switzerland, so I should be used to mountains, but this, this is quite amazing. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Saudi was completely unexpected, um, and I loved it, absolutely loved it. And I think um, Oman, the people who are so nice in Oman, everybody's been terribly, terribly welcoming. It's been a long rally with long days and some great distances, but it has absolutely exceeded my expectations. Four countries in the Middle East uh, over the last 16 days has been uh, awesome. Happy to soon arrive in Dubai. Car is a bit tired, but go still going strong. My memories in a few days' time will be really good. At the moment, I'm starting to feel rather tired. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, it's a positive rally. I think we're still in the top 10, first in class, so yeah, we're, we're quite happy. It's been a fantastic event, hasn't it? Been some beautiful country, seen some fantastic scenery, driven some beautiful roads. Y you, can't, you can't ask for more than that, really. We've been complaining for the last 15 days that it's been too hot and last day we've got absolutely soaked. I'm <laughs> singing in the rain. Good experience, long drives and highways, but a lot of fun when we went off road. Fantastic, we had issues every day, two, three times a day, but uh, this is a game of uh, perseverance and we persevered. We arrived to Dubai. That was a most wonderful rally, we enjoyed very, very much. Fabulous! Still married. Very happy. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it was stressing, it was tiring, but uh, it was a nice rally. The landscapes, the culture, the, it was a mixture of everything we love. No, but it was a fantastic rally. I really, really loved it and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> A privilege to be able to travel through the Middle East. Scenery, organisation has been fabulous. It's been a really, really good rally. Oh, <laughs> it's just incredible. Some, some great driving, great regularities and great sporting section. And I want to thank George for doing a fantastic job.
such great company and that little bit of competition to make it spike, it was great. I'm very pleased with the organization, you know, the mechanics, Eleonora with the logistics, Guy and, and John. John with uh, all the other uh, roads and everything. So I think every day uh, was a different moment, but uh, we are really happy. Congratulations to Jose and George, they did an amazing job you know, with a car that wasn't running so well. I think next time we're going to make sure it stops. <laughs> and no more exchanging of information. Nothing. <laughs>